aspect of disabled tourism. Nobody wants to live in a place that is unsafe, right? Neither do you, neither does the disabled tourism, right? Tourism. So think about this. We all do this, right? We all have mo mapuja and all kinds of stuff, right? But then we don't realize that if, so if there is a fire in our building, what happens? Forget the able, I'm only talking about disabled now. So you have a disabled, what happens? Because our fire, we have fire trucks and the maximum height of fire trucks is 75 feet. We are building these tall buildings and resorts, but no capacity to be rescued. And nobody will come to a restaurant. Once they find out that safety is not there, again, in your area of influence, this could change, isn't it? I go to a high-rise building and they have one exit out. Not acceptable. If somebody comes here, but it, and there's one way out, the guy knows this stuff, he's not going to come stay. He's going to say, sorry, I, I go to someplace else. No, no, I like this one. I came for a wedding, nice white horses, right? Lots of pretty ladies, big party. Now, what if I were the one in that horse, but I came in a wheelchair? What would you do? Radisson is in trouble, right? Because that's what you've done. You made a ramp, yes. Is it wide enough? Is the slope okay? I don't know. I'm just throwing things around, okay? You got a stage? How do I get? These guys want to dance too? How do you get to a stage? And that thing, if it is that 180 million, you take 10% of that, that is wants to come to Nepal, how much money are you losing? Tons because of somebody didn't think to put a ramp somewhere in there, which would cost you $50. I'll talk in dollars tonight, right? But that's what's in my head. In Nepal's context, let's say even $100, or even $1,000. But the gains are how many fold? Nobody thought about that guy on a wheelchair who could come and get married in here. Especially the older guys that want to renew their vows or marry twice or three times. They like it. So similarly, this is what happens in here. You know, these are all over. So I show you the hard thing. So areas that need access. I'm just going to go very fast, okay? Because all these things are inside your hotel also. Now, I love this picture. Because they said somewhere in Kathmandu, they all said we have a ramp. We have a ramp for sure. And the one on the bottom, that one, that is a ramp. That is a, that is not a ramp. So that is a ramp, but not a correct ramp. For reasons I'll tell you later. But we have a ramp. I, I don't think it's agree with you. And then it gets even worse. That's how it begins. Forget any other features. Basic thing is missing, isn't it? If I'm in a wheelchair, I'm, I'm vision impaired, I, I'm using my canes, how do I go up that ramp? So we have a ramp, correct? I don't disagree, but we haven't done it properly. I'm sorry this is from San Diego, but you can see the difference. Similarly, we got a bathroom. There are a thousand things you need to consider in the bathroom. Okay, starting from the doors. Latches. Look at what we do. We love this. We like to use these, or we do these. Can you imagine a disabled person being able to open that? Can you open that, sir? I'm going to ask him, he's the architect. He probably puts the latches and door, door knobs everywhere. Can a disabled person open this? Yes, no? <laughs> personally, yeah. no, 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 I'm not talking personally. A person with a major disability, can he open this? No. no. That's why they have these. People have considered that this is how it's done. Okay? I'm not trying to single your feet. If I point to some of you, don't, don't take it personally, all right? So then there are heights and issues like that, okay? Here we go about bathrooms. There are different types of bathrooms. These are accessible bathrooms. The ones that are around are not for various, various reasons. And that is the bathroom that was built at Hardik with all the proper clearances, with pro all the proper door sizes, proper height, and you know what that turned out to be? Zero extra cost, my friend, zero extra cost. And that's what this bathroom looks like without the handrails. That's what the bathroom now looks like with the handrails. And the handrails are there for a purpose, for a reason. We can talk. That's a topic. But similarly, now here's this guy checking out. Can you see how comfortable he is? He's got space to move. It didn't take us one extra bit of money. So this is one example of where we can where we can do something. Now I'm going to show you a thousand missed opportunities where they've spent lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of money. When they could have thought slightly differently and made a big difference, 
that would benefit the tourist industry, benefit the hotel, and make it disabled friends. I'm just going to go quickly through this. Our airport. Who did this? Can you, as an able person, even go here? These are two eyes as an able Even for an able person, who can, if you took this out, you drop these a few inches, it would have been completely disabled friendly. We may have lost one stall, but nobody thought about it, right? And when I write about this, people go, ah, oh, really? But this is a missed opportunity, isn't it? This is a new, this is a new bathroom at the new airport. I'm sure you guys have all been here. I was shocked. New construction, I'm not talking about old. There are other issues with it. This is the banquet hall, right? Go inside and take a Are these correct? Again, I don't know. I haven't made any measurements. But look what we have done. Can't come in. Can't come in. Can't get in. But, with a nice bathroom, first class bathroom. Okay, I run to the bathroom. Very nice, marble, everything. Somebody even decided to lower this on one, one of them. <laughs> Correct or not, I don't know. I, again, measurement, I've done that. But, you see what we're, we're missing? We have to think about it, right? Can I reach here? Now, they put a wall in here for whatever reason, and the guy on the wheelchair can never get, somehow he managed to get in, he can never get out because there is no clearance space. These heights are too high. But why didn't think? If they took this wall out, I am sure there is going to be enough clearance space in there for a wheelchair to be at least pulled in. And then we can adjust the inside. But we have to start thinking about this. Similarly, you have a podium. And I don't know if you realize, last time when I had that workshop at Harding, I never put anybody up at the podium. And that was by design. Because I wanted everybody to feel that they're equal. People of very statues of them. But they all sat at the same level as the guy who was on the wheelchair. That was by design. To send this message that there's an equality issue. So, but here what are we doing? We like this because all the big shots have to go here. But there is no access. Cannot get there. See? Six inches, twelve inches, eight inches, right? Beautiful hall. Beautiful hall. But if you thought a little bit, that would have been such a beautiful sight, no? Similarly, I show you this. This is how they built it. Somewhere. Right? Nothing is correct. <clears throat> That's how, that was the plan. This was their entry. Done by somebody with credentials. That bathroom, if you move a few walls, move the male to the female and female to the male side, relocated some of the pictures are fully, fully, fully disabled compliant. And it would have been Nepal's first disabled compliant bathroom at an educational setting. And look at the message that would have sent. See the power of that 1,000 feet of like the influence. That would have sent such a powerful message. But they didn't ask. This is current. Guy goes inside. Oh, by the way, I, I just want to go back here. So there's a male, there's a male, there's a male, there's a male, female, and a disabled bathroom. So we have some aversion that says somehow that disabled bathroom has to be separate from the other bathroom. Whatever, that's a social thing. That's a another issue. But when that individual goes up this ramp, that's what this is, ramp. It's a one way in and no way out. Because there isn't enough clearance space in here for the guy on a wheelchair to come out. Now think about this. This is, this is what it is. As built. It's being built. In a government facility that is supposed to be regulating all of you guys. Okay? And the disabled accessibility also. And the disabled also. Now look at this. I'm just giving you a sketch. I have not done... What would happen if I did this? I got my disabled bathroom. I got my, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got my able bathroom. Ladies, need a little bit more. Same thing with gents. I need an LMA. I got everything I wanted in that same, I can get everything I need in that same space, actually at the saving, because I'm using one less door, I'm using one less fixture. The, 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 the work involved 
in building the walls is the same. It's about the same. But nobody thought about this. And when you start talking about this, they go, but with your influence, again, that 1,000 foot radius of influence, you could kind of bring about these things, right? By asking your own architects, your own planners, hey, what is the alternative for disabled? If you don't understand, always welcome to call me. Always welcome to send an email. Hey, you know what, I'm going to do this. Does this work? Yes, no. There are things called reach. This is how they do reach out. So they put a tab, the guy can't reach it. So there are issues like that. There are parking issues. And these are again, what happens? This is how they build their counter. You gotta, they've got disabled people that have to train in there. And what they're telling them is you are still, I am here, you are there. Now it is like this. What, see the difference? What psychologically somebody, by the way, this is in Nepal's guidelines. I'm sorry, this is there. But nobody follows it. Unfortunately. No? These are my students, of course. And then we have this, in, in, this is called equitable access, this is called inequitable. When I need somebody to assist me to be pulled, to climb a chair, using, using a wheelchair to climb steps, I am in trouble. So I told this lady, please try it. I want to, you want to, I want to see, show me how you do it. Say, no, I need help. Then we have lost the main thing, right? No, 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 independent. Almost done, okay? Detail like Gokarna, if you had one of these little lifts and said, My spa is available for you. I have this lift. How many people would come to Gokarna? More people would come to Gokarna. It just costs $5,000, right? Electrically operated, manually operated, both. That's at the spa, that's at the pool. One. $10,000. But for $10,000, you get much, much better use of it. You get more of the disabled population coming to your facility and paying you that nice green dollars, right? So there are some solutions.